As the number of NBA players with the coronavirus grows, more testing has been done with teams across the league. Well, New York Mayor Bill de Blasio had this to say on Twitter yesterday. We wish them a speedy recovery, but with all due respect, an entire NBA team should not get tested for COVID-19 while there are critically ill patients waiting to be tested. Tests should not be for the wealthy, but for the sick. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver discussed this subject with our Rachel Nichols Wednesday. Again, I, I understand there, there are many sides to these issues, but I also think that by virtue of an NBA player being tested and the kind of attention it brought, I, I, my sense was, especially young, among young people in the United States, people were not taking these protocols all that seriously until the, the, the NBA did what it did. The NBA's executive director, Michelle Roberts, had this to say to our Ramona Shelbourne. There's nothing irresponsible if you've got the information about trying to get the test that you've been exposed. The problem is that more of us can't get these tests, and I'm not apologetic about saying it. In my view, that rests at the foot of the federal government. Okay, strong stuff there as we bring in NBA Countdown's Jay Williams. Jay, thank you so much for being with us. Hope you're hanging in there. Hanging in Steve there, guys. Miss you guys. With... Miss you guys. Yeah, same here. And, and like thank wise. you for being with us. Stephen A., talk to me. What's your reaction to all of this? <clears throat> well, I completely uh, agree with Michelle Roberts. Um, I'm going to miss her as executive director of the NBA Players Association, by the way, uh, once she steps down. But I got to tell you, I think that her comments were right on the money. Nobody wants to hear from an elected official trying to hold somebody else accountable. When we all know there's a whole bunch of people uh, that are elected officials that we could hold responsible, you know, from the top on down. And when she highlighted the federal government, well, guess what? You have state, uh, you have state governments that obviously have the ear of the federal government. And some people believe that there was a dereliction of duty on their part. Uh, in terms of pushing for more emphasis and more focus on this issue that has now invaded this nation and this world. And so when the, Mayor de Blasio comes out and he says such a thing, I, I just think that uh, it was irresponsible. I think it was, a little bit of, uh, it was a little bit political, to say the least. And I don't think he had any business saying that at all. I appreciate Commissioner Adam Silver highlighting the fact that, again, when Oklahoma City in Utah, were in the arena the night that we learned Rudy Gobert had tested positive. Uh, they were held there by public officials, uh, by public health officials in Oklahoma City. They were not allowed to leave the arena. And Michelle Roberts is alluding to other tests that have taken place since then. It's because you have a plethora of athletes uh, that may have shown symptoms or what have you. Who knows who and what they may have been exposed to. Um, and because they're in the public eye and they're subjected to other individuals that may not want to practice social distancing and things of that nature, uh, you've got to send the message to make sure that, again, they're OK. If they're not OK, you want people to know that because there's no shame in contracting this virus. It's not like anybody did anything wrong or anything like that. And so those are other important elements to bring up as well. But in the end, what it comes down to is this. This is not the time to be pointing the finger of blame or anything like that. It's also important to recognize the fact that, yes, these are multi-million dollar athletes. It is a billion dollar entity that is the NBA. And what you have is a situation where even though you might be following the advice of public health officials, you also have folks that have the ability to go to private entities in order to get tested and things of that nature. So it's really about making sure that the tests are available to the public, which they have no control over whatsoever. Anybody that's showing the symptoms, if you have the means to get yourself tested, you definitely should do so. And it really just comes down to that. As usual, when Michelle Roberts says something, it's right on the money. Um, but... <clears throat> You know, I think back to Trump saying anyone who needs a test is going to get a test. So the presumption early on was that there were enough tests, and obviously there aren't. And who knows who needs a test? Have you been in contact with someone who has the coronavirus? Right now, that's the standard. You have to either, you have to either prove that you've been in contact with someone or come from a place that's considered a hotspot. But what if you just come down with symptoms? Or what if you just want to know because you know you're going to be around other people? And so the NBA has a legitimate point of view. What de Blasio is talking about 
is social responsibility. And that's one of the tricky things about all of this, um, the social responsibility, because what you're being asked to do is not to keep yourself safe from coronavirus, but to behave as though you already have it so that you don't spread it. Each individual is not seen as the, the, the priority is not don't get it, it's don't spread it. Don't be a, you know, a vector for, for the disease. It, it, it's very contagious. That's tough for a lot of people because they don't understand what's the big deal. I don't care. Like, you know, you see these, these idiot kids on spring break making who really aren't capable, obviously, for thinking uh, for thinking for themselves yet, saying things like because they don't know how to process information, apparently saying things like, well, I don't care if I get it. Right. It's not about if you get it. It's about if you give it to someone else and you see them congregating in large groups on spring break in the beach and stuff like that. I think that de Blasio, what he's talking about is part of that, part of social responsibility. Now, how does that relate to the NBA? Should they be tested or not? Should there be a priority given to, um, to famous athletes? Well, listen, are we going to pretend that there aren't health care differences in terms of results for the rich and the poor in this country? There are. There are primaries going on right now, and that's one of the focal points. You know, there, there are different outcomes to be expected, rich and poor, on medical treatment. And, and maybe here we see it again. I would say this for the NBA, um, just to, just, I know Jay is waiting also, I would say this for the NBA. In the Second World War, FDR, the President of the United States, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, thought it was important that baseball continue, because people were wondering, should we still be playing sports? It's important for national morale. And I think there's an argument for the NBA, too. No, that doesn't mean that tests for people who really need them, who can demonstrate they've been in contact, they have symptoms, they're elderly, they're, ex they're especially vulnerable, should be given to the, to the rich and famous basketball players instead of, instead of the people who most need them.